What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. There is no doubt that characters like Man-Thing, Werewolf by Night and the impending blade that helped the MCU's foray into the supernatural by easing audiences into accepting more recognizable supernatural beings like Ghost Rider and Mephisto. And we can't really talk about Ghost Rider without mentioning Mephisto. And it does seem like they'll be joining the MCU rather sooner than later. We might even get to see them in Phase 5 or early Phase 6. Moreover, Mephisto, the cunning devil from Marvel Comics, is set to make his debut in the highly anticipated High on Heart series which will debut on Disney+. Plus. But before I break all of this down to you, guys, we'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So, as mentioned earlier, the debut for Ghost Rider and Mephisto into the MCU may happen sooner rather than later, and the groundwork has already been established. And if the reports are accurate, Sasha Baron Conan might play Mephisto in High and Heart, which will prove that Mephisto has a hand in the development of the dark hold and the corruption of those individuals who dare to utilize it. And now, in response to the report that Sasha Baron Cohen will play Mephisto, the movie Odyssey tweeted, So, from what I've heard a few weeks back, Sasha Baron Cohen might have a four-movie agreement, or we should say a four-project agreement with Marvel. In any case, we've already mentioned here on this channel that Ghost Rider is reportedly going to be a special presentation similar to Werewolf by Night. And so, if Marvel follows the same release schedule as they did with Werewolf by Night, it seems like it may be released on Halloween this year, and that should be mid-October or even earlier given that Werewolf by Night was released on October 7th. Similarly, we may even be looking at an early October date for this year. According to the film Odyssey, there will be additional projects that Mephisto will tie into. Of course, there is always the chance that it will tie into Werewolf by Night. Besides, given the success Werewolf by Night had, it is difficult to think that Marvel Studios is giving up on the genre anytime soon. And while Mephisto has yet to make an official MCU debut, it appears that Doctor Strange hinted at it in the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, Mephisto is a very strong Marvel villain having connections to Spider-Man, Doctor Doom, Silver Surfer and the Ghost Rider. The time for the live action debut for such a significant character has long since passed and the MCU's ostensibly hint at Mephisto's existence remain unanswered. Devil's first MCU appearance, however, appears to have taken a significant silent step forward in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And if you would recall, the Sanctum Santorin of Sinister Strange has two evil faces engraved into the gate, which Doctor Strange enters. These faces look much like Mephisto from the comic books, who typically has wild, spiked hair, fangs, and mutton chops. Given that Chotun, the first demon, is tied to the MCU's Darkhold and that Mephisto may have used the Book of the Damned to manipulate Sinister Strange into using it. Although, it is likely that Sinister Strange unwillingly served the devil and one of his devoted servants. Additionally, Mephisto originally played a significant role in the last two comic book storyline that the MCU has adapted. First, the Scarlet Witch credits Mephisto's soul in the original story of the creation of Billy and Tommy Maximoff in WandaVision. Second, Mephisto grants Spider-Man's wish to obliterate everyone's memory in Spider-Man No Way Home in Marvel's One More Day comics. Mephisto, however, was conspicuously missing from these MCU adaptations. That's why numerous fan theories and obvious hints, Marvel Studios has not stated why they ignored Mephisto. Although, there wasn't a single film in Infinity Saga where a supernatural figure like Mephisto would have been appropriate for the plot. Phase 1 and Phase 2 concentrated on creating an advanced Earth and a vast universe team with extraterrestrial life, while Doctor Strange appearance in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame only touched the surface of the MCU supernatural elements in Phase 3. Most of the saga has simply be too jam-packed to introduce the idea of Hell and the Devil himself. Even after Phase 4 has finally brought in its theme with titles like WandaVision and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And although, Ghost Rider seemed like an odd addition to the world where the supernatural has barely been explored. The figure essentially invented the tragic hero archetype. A man named Johnny Blaze was cursed to exact revenge as the Ghost Rider because he sold his soul to save the life of another. He now has used this error to stop people from hurting others, but he's deeply guilty and finds it difficult to do so. While all of these heroes suffer from guilt, regret, pain, and self-deprivation, Ghost Rider has remained the perfect example of a man who does well. Not because he wants to, but because he must. Now, with the supernatural part of the MCU coming to light, Ghost Rider's presence has felt more and is more possible. Furthermore, now that Thanos has been eradicated, a void has been opened and has beckoned even smarter and deadlier villains. 
enemies like Arthur Harrow, the Flag Smashers, and Kang all represent villains that exist without a code and want chaos to prove their beliefs. Heroes must now confront them, match their brutality, and go further after Iron Man or Captain America could ever imagine. Though, they might be the best heroes for the kids to look up to, characters like Ghost Rider will be more important than ever thanks to the MCU. Furthermore, since the report from Film Odyssey mentioned that it will tie into other figures where we've already encountered, I'm thinking that this report is referring to Blade. Sadly, it has been postponed to September 6th of 2024. There are still reports that Mephisto may appear in High and Hard, one of Phase 5 Disney Plus programs. Some others have speculated that Sasha Baron Cohen may play the extraterrestrial demon. The major enemy in Ironheart is the Ood, a magical criminal lord who stole his magical hood from a demon. Perhaps instead, he made a pact to the devil to get the power. As such, these rumors do have expected support. Even though magic and paranormal are integral components of the MCU, there are currently just one confirmed project that focuses mainly on these themes, Agatha Coven of Chaos. After all the speculations about Mephisto's involvement in WandaVision series, it would be coincidental if he appeared in the spin-off. Moreover, hope for the appearance of additional enchanted superheroes was recently raised by some amusing casting announcements for Joe Locke and Aubrey Plaza. Mephisto will make a good choice for the show's enemy as the rank rises, but if only he doesn't appear just once. Mephisto is too prolific to appear just once. Additionally, there is still one very saving grace by conclusion of the Multiverse Saga, Avengers Secret Wars, if he doesn't appear in earlier movies or television shows. If it follows the pattern of previous Avengers film, this should bring together all the major characters in the MCU including hopefully Mephisto, even though he's not as important to the Secret Wars storyline as other villains like Doctor Doom, Molecule Man, and the Beyonder. But Mephisto could still be incorporated if they want to bring together a team of villains. Also, following the favorable response to the MCU's first special presentation, Werewolf by Night, Many fans are hoping that there are more in the works. Specifically, Ghost Rider will be a good fit for this kind of project, as Mephisto and the Spirit of Vengeance have been long-term adversaries. Also, Stephen Strange is first introduced to Claire in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, who takes him into the Dark Dimension to stop the incursion he started. That would appear to entail characters like Dormammu and Umar the Unrelenting. Mephisto's involvement should be constrained by that. And I'm assuming that there could be a connection to the Midnight Suns as well. I'm referring to a Midnight Suns movie, which more and more people are anticipating after the previous project. Mephisto is the ideal antagonist to confront all of these supernatural heroes given their convergence. This kind of collaboration might be the best after the conclusion of the Multiverse Saga because Phase 6 already has some more significant films in the works, including Fantastic Four and Deadpool 3 in addition to Avengers film. And with Dane Whiteman, aka Black Knight, played by Keith Harrington, which was introduced in The Eternals, Blade Reboot is still in production. Agatha, played by Catherine Hinn's spin off series, and essentially everything included in Werewolf by Night, is now the perfect time for the Ghost Rider film. Marvel is probably using a long time strategy, choosing the right moment for each character and idea so that the audience will genuinely care about your role in the MCU. And back to our giveaway. Guys, we're giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel. To one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers and all you have to do to win is watch our videos subscribe turn on post notification like and comment and one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new playstation 5. also we want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far we truly appreciate it what are your thoughts in this video and how excited are you to see mephisto and the ghost rider in the mcu also do you think that Kevin Feige will be able to get all of these characters back to reprise their roles one more time? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.